So in FC24, we have got some massive SBCs and we're going to be going through every single SBC currently available other than today, which I believe is Bobby Moore. That one probably is in good to great value just off the assumption they probably won't make him too expensive. So let's jump in with some of the icons. We have now got only a couple of base versions left. We have a Barnes and we also have a Larm. So these two are left. We've got Barnes at 126 and we have Larm at 178. Both of them, well, one of them, in fact, Barnes has got an hour left, so probably not worth doing now. Lama has got two days left, and 178 is not necessarily the worst value. I would say, personally, when it comes to icons now, especially the base, we've got so many versions that are becoming a lot cheaper. For instance, with Barnes, he has just had a new Winter Wildcard icon added, and yes, you can't always go off the assumption that they're going to be next, but realistically, instead of spending 126 on that SBC, you could go buy the card for 60,000. So unless the icon is absolutely detrimental to your team, I would try and stay away from them. So if it turns to Larm, I'd go nothing else to do. The fact that Barnes has only got an hour left or till 6 p.m. I can imagine it's probably not worth doing then we have some of the big ones now we have Zidane and Eusebio these two are a what is it a dynasties and we also have a centurions so Zidane is coming in at 1.47 and Eusebio is coming in at 2.4 massive cards absolutely huge end game sort of icons I'd probably say more Eusebio Zidane has got a better version technically and Eusebio more than likely will have one later later on into the game but I would say both of them could be as close to end game as you're going to get at this point in the game unless you're going to pack somebody like you're just not going to well, I suppose there is people that have definitely got some Pele's, but in terms of these two icons, they are absolutely must. If you could pick one of them, it depends on what your team setup is. For instance, we still have another Mbappe to go through. If you've done the 92, I'd probably go with a midfielder to end game it out. Hullet, Zidane are two absolutely huge ones that you can do. And I do think with Zidane, the 5-5 five five is always going to help. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7 by for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. Eusebio, on the other hand, is an incredible striker as well. If you was to get Mbappe and Eusebio in the same team, you're pretty much done. Like, genuinely, that is an incredible partnership to have from SBCs. And I know Player of the Months, they can't really do anything about that if, if Mbappe scores 50 goals in two months then he's bound to get back to back months it's not it's just not going to happen so in terms of Mbappe he is what he is but Eusebio is one that they have picked and that is just incredible as well he is a great striker in the game very much one of the top top icons that you can get I think both of them are must completes maybe not all of them together so if I have put say if I put five people in the must complete it isn't that you need to do all of them if you can absolutely phenomenal if you can't I would just try and pick one and stick with it, especially with the amount that we have. For instance, Mbappe is another big one. He's currently coming in. It, it's got to be a huge price still. I know the market is still warming up to him. He is 4.5 million coins. It is personally why I went for the 92, purely on the fact that just one rating higher, so that's 4.5. That other one is a million coins left for a one upgrade. Literally with this card, he had one on everything bar from pace. For me, that isn't going to be worth an extra million coins. And it's why I'd always go for that first step with Mbappe. Because even the gold Mbappe is still very, very meta. It's, it, it just is what it is. He is one of the best cards, if not the best card on the game. Especially when it comes to a gold player, an actual player in, in real life now, not icons. He is definitely number one on anybody's list. When it comes to the other icons though, we still have a Hullet. We have a Del P now, and we have a Hernandez. Like I said, Bobby Moore is coming out today, and I can imagine he should be relatively cheap. Hullet is coming in at a whopping 2.7. We've got Luis Hernandez at 120, and I have Del P at 618. So Hullet, in my, in my eyes, is a must-complete always. He, again, is like Zidane. He is a golden midfielder. Maybe, yes, he hasn't necessarily got the stats of his other version, but he is still Hullet. He's got the in-game ability. In-game stats are still nice enough, most definitely. And the size of him just absolutely works with this. He hasn't really lost too much other than a 
couple of stats, really. So I, I think he, again, you've got to argue between him and Zidane. If you can do both, that midfield is absolutely monstrous in itself. A Hullet zidane partnership is literally the end game until a long, long time away. Obviously, team of the year will be soon, so that will be interesting to see who gets in there as well. We then have Luis Hernandez, very cheap. I think for me, he's not necessarily a must complete. He's very good as a striker if you're looking at kind of a, a lower tier SBC. I think he is good to great value 100% of the time. Whereas Delpy, a little bit more expensive. I'm not necessarily a massive fan of the card. I do think he is very decent, but he definitely could have been better. In terms of the upgrade from his base, because we're looking at 617 on his SBC or 148,000 coins on the market for his base. We have got a single upgrade and it is plus ones on everything, bar from two on the defended and three on that passing. For me, that is not a massive difference. And if you are trying to play him as a striker, he has lost his finesse, was he? Yeah, he had a finesse shot plus. Now he's got a long ball pass. So it kind of forces him more into a midfield role, maybe even a winger, rather than the striker. The long ball pass is not going to be effective as a striker unless you play that way, which I just don't see how many strikers I use that pass the ball long range. It's very quick, it's very close, or I'm running with him. So it is a bit of an L there. I think he's good value. I definitely don't think he's great. He could potentially be nothing else to do, especially with all of the SBCs that we've got going on. But at this point, Delpy is still a very meta player nonetheless. We then have one of the best dynamics of the game again. We had it with Payet last year. Balotelli is a must for that dynamic. Love the Santa hat. Love the card. It is just a little bit of... It's not even not nostalgia, but it's just a bit of spirit with him. He's not very expensive. He's coming in at 50,000 coins. He's a must. It's a great dynamic. Everybody loves a good Santa hat. And the red top kind of comes in clutch with... I think... I don't know if they have the licensing for the Turkey League. We still have Griezmann as well. I believe the next La Liga player of the month is coming soon. But we've got the 89 at the minimum. He's coming in at 440,000 coins. For me now, I would say it's not worth it. And that is, again, in hindsight, if you did him day one, week one, then fair enough, because naturally, you're not going to be able to know that A, the finesse shot plus was, was kind of fixed or nerfed after he came out. But then also, you were never going to know that he was going to get a team in a week that is half the price. It is just one of them things. We then have Vermin coming in at 12,000 coins. I know, I believe that's the card that you have to put in an 86 as well. An 85 at minimum. So you could still get him done and have an 86 in your club. It is only an 83 rated team, which I think is good to great value at the very, very minimum. Even if he is just fodder later on down the line. We have Sinclair. I think for me, she is more nothing else to do. Um, again, there is loads of players that I'd rather go with. She is only 60,000 coins herself. 88 rated card, which is always nice. But I don't think she's getting into many people's teams unless it is an MLS built team going forward. And obviously, she doesn't even have the American nation. She has Canadian. So again, there is less players such that you would kind of go with her. So it has to be either MLS cards or obviously Canadians, which I suppose Alfonso Davis is number one. Adama's here as well still. He's got... Four days left, 87 rated. I Now I've seen a lot more of these evolutions coming up with some of the, the kind of more named cards. I am certain he eventually will get one and most definitely will be a great evolution going into the future. So I think as a good, great value for the future, definitely. He may be a super sub right now. I've seen him a handful of times more on a subs bench rather than necessarily starting and he is absolutely rapid. So he's great if you are looking for that overload tactic down the byline. He just absolutely murders the right back or left back, whichever kind of position you put him in. We then also have ben, uh, Benesa still. He's got four days remaining as well. So still some remnants of the radioactive promo. I quite like him, to be honest. For 77,000, again, another card that could go into an evolution and later on in the game. It is a shame that they didn't get no dynamic for him. I don't know if they have him in the game, but they don't have the dynamic on Footbin. They might just not have the dynamic. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they've got the dynamic for AC Milan. But in terms of the card, again, 77 for... Uh, thousand coins to get him done it's not a bad card he's normally relatively decent in the cdm role naturally has this extra chemistry points as well for the radioactive promo card and then we have a few more of the player of the month so we have harry Maguire, we have dybala and i want to say undav that's how i normally pronounce it but i can imagine there's probably a different way we've got 
22,000 coins for the Bundesliga. We have 63 for Dybala and we have 63 for Harry Maguire. If you are looking for fodder, Dybala is going to be the best rate in there for the fodder put choice, especially if you've got Harry Maguire at the same level of price. And then obviously you've got Undev for 22,000 coins, a nice card again to get finished if you are looking for a fodder choice or just an extra bit in the Bundesliga. I would go for something like good to great value and I'd say Maguire is nothing else to do. I do like that they've upgraded him nicely as well. He's not just thrown together like a lot of SBCs, which I think this year they have done really well with capitalizing on stat upgrades they're given the plus 10s the plus 20s wherever needed to the pace they're obviously giving them a big boost to keep them at least semi-relevant not necessarily first team but at least relevant enough to be talking about them i suppose if then we keep going we've got harry kane di lorenzo igor and also griffo from the team of the group stage promo so harry kane is actually I hate to say it because I'm not a big fan of him, but he has come on a few times against me and has absolutely taken my pants down. Genuinely a very good card from what other people have played with. He's not my sort of style. Same with Lewandowski, almost very similar to a kind of bog standard Haaland. They're just not my style of play. I like quick step. I like rapid. I like very quick and kind of... Not necessarily even small strikers, but players that you can actually feel that acceleration. Kind of like your Etos and your Mbappes. They just suit my style of play better. When it comes to a Kane, a Lewandowski, a Haaland, build up play, getting the shot off with a bit of space is always kind of key and essential for them. It just isn't how I play. So judging from kind of what other people have gone with, I'm, I'm going to say a big dub for that. We have got Di Lorenzo at 66,000. I would say he's a must complete, but I would definitely say he's more of a good to great value P purely on the basis that I'm pretty sure his trailblazer, I want to say he got, was an 86, fa uh, 86 rated coin, coin card at 15,000 coins. For me, that is just, it's light years. I know the SBC, you don't have to use any coins, but 15,000 coins is not going to break the bank one bit. When it comes to Igor, he's 15,000 coins. That is an absolute, oh, an absolute must complete. 88 rated for a 15,000 coin SBC. It's a must, absolute must. Griffo, a little bit more expensive, 86 rated with a 24,000 SBC. I'd say it's nothing else to do more than anything. He's not going to change the, the, the team at all. And he most definitely is not going to be well worth the fodder. You're kind of looking for 20k and under at the minimum for him. And it just is what it is. We then got Brian Diaz, the next DAZN, uh, what is it? A DAZN player pick, pundit pick, 87 rated. I'm going to say he's just not one to complete, to be honest. He's 79,000 coins for this 87. He doesn't really change people's teams. He's kind of like Gordon. He's just a random pick from a random game. So unfortunately, even though I like that they're trying to introduce in real life stuff, it's just not hitting. I kind of wish for Man of the Matches back, if I'm being brutally honest. And then we go with the start of the Winter Wildcard promo. So obviously we have got Martinelli. We have Havertz, two Arsenal players, which is nice. And then we also have Mbabu. So Martinelli's coming in at 650,000 coins. Very expensive, but an 89 Brazilian winger from the Prem. It's always going to have Prem tax. I'd say he's... No, he's not nothing else to do. I'd say he's got to he's got to be good value for what you're getting back. He is a decent card. Unfortunately, no upgrades can be obtained with winter wild cards, but he's good value. He's not necessarily great, and he most definitely isn't a must complete. But I don't think he's absolutely awful from what we've seen of SBC prices. He fits the mold pretty well. When it comes to Havertz, he is an absolute must. He's changed into a left back, as if you know, winter wild card. It kind of rolled in promos together. You've got the, what is it called? The level up. No, was it a level up? It was the Adidas promo where we got loads of 99 stats on cards. We then have the shapeshifters in there, which is Havertz. And then there is just normal upgrades as well. It's a really, really nice card for him being a left back. He's had a big increase in obviously the defending. A plus 40, 16 on obviously the physicality. And then gained 11 on pace. The fact that he's 6-3 as well with a 4-4. He's an absolute stunning left back. I think he is an absolute must complete in this game. And then finally we have Mbabu. 85 rated at 86,000 coins. 
Again, he's, he's one that I do like the card in, in previous FIFAs. He has had decent cards going into Team of the Season. I think for me, he'd be a nothing else to do. I don't think he takes over a lot of the right backs we've had in the recent weeks. And that's going to be everybody. Let me know down below what you think. And let me know who you're going to complete. Peace.